There's an extension to making covenants that Alma introduces here where once they enter into that covenant, they join a church. There's, a, there's yep. an organizational side of it. James, what other significance is there in organized religion attached to the covenants we make at baptism? For these people, that's what they're looking for, right? They, they had a city mm -hmm. and it wasn't working and they need a community. Okay. And instead of focusing now on the towers and the vineyards and the physical infrastructure, they're going to start with the spiritual connections. And a lot of those baptismal promises we read are not internal, what do you believe in your heart sort of promises. Remember in verse eight, they were supposed to bear one another's burdens, right? Uh, in verse nine, they're willing to mourn with those that mourn and comfort those that stand in need of comfort. Those are things you do as you get into other people's lives, right? They're not just giving lip service to these promises, but they're saying, what are specific roles we can take to help each other? In verse 18, it says that Alma having authority from God ordained priest, even one priest for every 50 of their number did he ordain to preach unto them and to teach them concerning the kings pertaining to the kingdom of God. And so they start to have this structure mm -hmm. where they're instructing, helping each other so that when they're in crisis, you're already mm -hmm. there. You can't build a relationship yeah. from scratch at that time someone needs you. Yeah. Jennifer, what's that been like for mm -hmm. you coming from your background to make the covenant and then learn a lot of the new aspects of an organized religion? Yeah. Well, you can't do it on your own. There was part of me that would have liked to have done it in secret because <laughs> then I wouldn't have had to have changed my life. But I needed the people in my ward to help me live out that covenant for them to give to me and me to give to them. Can you think of a specific experience where you felt that immediate benefit of being a part of a congregation? Mm -hmm. When I first started attending the ward, we still had three hours mm -hmm. of church. Wow, and that was a long time it ago, was a, wasn't it? <laughs> that's, four, that's four years ago. <laughs> One of the classes that I would attend during those hours was a sort of an introductory here are the gospel, the principles gospel of the gospel. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the people in that class, I had a notebook where I would write all of my questions and they would sit and try to answer my questions mm -hmm. during class, but there isn't enough time. They would have me in their homes. I got to get to know them and their families and all the goodness of friendship that comes along with that. I loved the missionaries but they're 18 year old boys <laughs> and I really needed adult friends my age that could help me contextualize all of that and it had to come in the form of having a church.